Nobel laureate Abhijit Banerjee has now become a household name for bringing accolades to the nation, especially on an issue which is so central to the country, poverty elevation. But despite a Nobel Prize, a world recognition, Abhijit Banerjee has received, has received much criticism from the BJP government. In fact, Piyush Goyal went on record calling him totally left-leaning, especially because he praised Nyai, a scheme offered as a poll promise by the Congress in the union elections of 2019. Now, to understand this and much more, NETV Srinivasan Jain brings you this exclusive chat with the man himself. What has happened is that, and this is inevitable in the times that we're in, that you have sort of been drawn into a political crossfire. And I'm sure you've heard the Commerce Minister say that Abhijit Banerjee won the Nobel Prize. I congratulate him. But you all know what his understanding is. His thinking is totally left-leaning. He praised the Nyaya scheme effusively. This is the Congress scheme with which you consulted. But the people of India totally rejected his thinking. So I, I feel that... What's not helpful in, in that kind of comment is more the, the questioning of my profession or our professionalism. I think the reason we were given this prize is partly because we are professionals. Right. We, if the BJP had government like the Congress party had asked me mm. what are the numbers on the fraction of people under this income or that income. Right. Would I have not told them the truth? I would have told them exactly. I would have, I would have been as willingly and as, you know, in terms of being a professional, I want to be a professional with everybody. Right. You're not and partisan I, in your political I'm approach. not partisan in my economic thinking. Right. I might be privately partisan about various things. Sure, all of we us all are. are. Yeah. But in terms of the economics that I want people to take seriously, I'm not partisan at all. If when somebody asks me a question, I don't question their motives. I think that this is a legitimate economics question. Fair enough. And I will answer it. We work, as I uh, was maybe telling you, that we work with any number of state governments, many of which are BJP governments. We worked with the Gujarat Pollution Control Board uh, when it, Gujarat was under Mr. Modi. And right. we actually had excellent experience. I, I would say that the experience was you know, that they, they, they were willing to engage with the ex evidence and they implemented policies that followed from that experience. There was no, I didn't, I didn't feel that we were being treated as a political animal. We were specialists who had a, something useful to say, uh, like you would have a, a, a mining engineer. Sure. Uh, and I, I feel a bit like I want to be place myself mostly as a professional. In this, spa enough. in this space, I want to no, be. That's, a, I'm a professional. That that was interesting. You mentioned that, in fact. You said that it's not just Gujarat, but you're working with Haryana yeah, yeah, yeah. and many yeah, other states, many, yeah, other states. Which, are, which are under U the BJP. U UP, I mean, we have no problem working with any any state. We were uh, uh, in India. We'll work with any state that's interested in having rigorous evaluation of its policies or wants a rigorous consultation on policy choices, we are happy to work with them. We have no particular reason to work with one or the other. We, we, we value seriousness and uh, willingness to solve a problem.